Hey guys, Tom here. It's another beautiful summer night. I, I can't believe it. It's August already, but happy Friday, happy hour Friday, and happy August. I can't believe I'm saying that. We're rolling right along, and there wasn't anything great at the farm stand this week, but I wanted to keep the fruit theme going, so we're going to take a visit to the tropics. And the great thing about these drinks are you can make them all year long. So what we're going to do today is we're going to celebrate two great flavors from the tropics to keep summer going through August, through September, and well into the fall as many times as we want because you can get this stuff at the market all year long. And that is pineapple and coconut. We're not using fresh coconut today. We're using coconut cream and both products are, are we can find pineapples fresh in the market all year long but the good thing about this is even if you can't find good fresh pineapple go ahead and use canned pineapple it's gonna work just as good and picking a pineapple there's a lot of people say you pull out a spike and if the spike comes out it's ripe I just smell it if it smells good and pineapple -y, I think it's ready to go so we're gonna start with a classic and then the good thing about this is we're really making two drinks at once. So a good old pina colada, guys, just reeks tropical, good times. So I'm going to put some pineapple chunks in there, and I've actually frozen those pineapple chunks. And then I need a couple ounces of uh, cream to coconut. I'm making two drinks, so I'm going to put a fair amount in. That's one, and this is what it looks like. It's, it's like creamy and good, and if you don't use it all, you put it in the fridge, it gets kind of solid, but that's fine. So I have the pineapple, the cream to coconut. I'm gonna put a couple ounces of pineapple juice. And then we need some rum. And you can use regular rum, you can use dark rum, but since it's a coconut drink, I'm gonna use some coconut rum. And remember, I'm making two drinks, so I'm gonna put four big ounces of coconut rum in there. Some ice, you're not gonna need a lot of ice because like I said, my pineapple is frozen. So I'm gonna put some, maybe about a cup and a half of ice. Get my blender top, so here we go. nice and coconutty and if you just want to punch it up a little get some dark rum and just kind of swirl the glass with some dark rum and even better if your glass was frozen and chilled the rum would just kind of stick to the bottom of the glass to the side of the glass and you have a little swirl in there so fill that up it calls for a straw, it calls for a chunk of pineapple, what's a pina colada without a cherry? So that's the first one, but with the same drink, I'm going to add just a touch more ice. And then I'm going to add one single ounce of blue curacao. So we know this is a drink my brother Tim will drink. Put the blender back on. So 
So with one recipe, pretty much only changing one ingredient, we have made two great drinks. Let's get some more pineapple. If it wants to go on. Another chunk of cherry. One recipe, we made a pina colada and a blue Hawaiian. Started out pina colada, blue Hawaiian, two great drinks. Let's keep it going. And this one is gonna be a pineapple, more, more of a pineapple drink. And it's really just mostly pineapple juice, but still, I'm counting it because it's pineapple. So this is called a West Indies cooler. For this, I need, you could use vodka or rum. I'm gonna use vodka because I've already used rum. So I have my measured cocktail shaker here. A couple ounces of vodka. A little bit of orange juice. Some pineapple juice. Remember, pineapple juice separates. So two ounces of pineapple, so that's two vodka, one orange, one pineapple. How about some ice? Shaker, shake it up. Glass, put some ice in there. Get my strainer. Fill it about two thirds or so. And then top it off with club soda. If you like, you could use lemon lime soda. Another straw, another fat wedge of pineapple. If I can get it on there. Guess what? The dogs are back. And that is number three, a West Indies cooler. All right, guys, that's three drinks down. I got one more but I know you're having a good time because I'm having a good time. How can you not have a good time at happy hour? If this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. But if, it, if, if you're a happy hour first timer, you gotta make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss happy hour each and every week. And then hit the bell, you'll be notified, you can watch it right away. So let's make one more. And this one is called a Pinot Frio, don't ask me why. So in my blender, I'm gonna put some more frozen pineapple. I'm gonna put some simple syrup if I can get the jar open. And if you're using fresh pineapple, canned pineapple, frozen pineapple, I don't care what, taste it. See how sweet it is, because that's gonna tell you how much simple syrup you're gonna need. I'm just gonna put just a little bit. And then this drink, gets some dark, dark rum. Two ounces of dark rum. And if you have a little smaller blender than this, like if you have one of those little smoothie bullet things, this would be the perfect thing for that. I don't think the nutrition people had this in mind when they made those things, but whatever. And let's blend it up.
glass with just a few cubes. It's thick. So I'm gonna thin it out with just a little more pineapple juice. Another splash of club soda to just make it a little more refreshing drink, but you don't need to. This will just lighten it up a little bit. The original Pinot Frio that I saw does not have the soda in it, but they're not making the drink, I am. I need another straw, and it's a pineapple drink, so you know I'm putting a pineapple in there. Maybe this one will cool, well, that one did cooperate. And that's the last drink on the hit parade today, guys, a Pinot Frio. So there you have it guys, four great tropical drinks. We got pineapple, we got coconut, we got rum. What else do you need? Try one, try two, try them all. But remember, if you're gonna try them, try them responsibly. So just remember, if you can't get to the tropics this summer, bring the tropics to you. And until I see you next time, remember, take care of yourself and your home. I'll see you later. Cheers.